please stand and open your hymnals to number 405 and join in singing Hosea. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The, there's a booklet like this in the, on the gifts table of the church, in the back of church, that has a little inf Lenten information for you, including where the readings are in our book. So I encourage you to take one today, maybe take it home with you, uh, give it to somebody. Blessed Lent to all of you. The reading is on page 1088 on Galler. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing, offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, Gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast. 
Let the bridegroom quit his room, and the bride her chamber. Between the ports and the altar, let the priest, the ministers of the Lord, weep, and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together, then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, in unacceptable time, I heard you, and on the day of salvation, I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners, so that others may see them, Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear 
to be fasting except to your father who is hidden and your father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. It was in the midst of extraordinary and catastrophic events that the prophet Joel spoke the word of the Lord to the people. The words we heard in that first reading from the Old Testament passage of the prophet Joel. Words that he proclaimed more than 2,400 years ago. And yet they roll down the ages with the same force and with the same power with which he spoke. The Lord says, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. And then he reminds the people, for gracious and merciful is the Lord, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. To turn away from sin and to turn back to the Lord. That's the call that we receive today as we receive every Lent in our lives. It comes down through the ages to turn away from sin and turn back to God. But as Jesus reminds the people, we can only do that with sincerity of heart. Not like the hypocrites, but with sincerity. And as the Apostle Paul reminds us clearly, it's not a time to wait. The call is now. Let us stand. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly ask God our Father that he be pleased to bless with the abundance of his grace these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence. O God, who desire not the death of sinners, but their conversion, mercifully hear our prayers, and in your kindness be pleased to bless these ashes, which we intend to receive upon our heads, that we who acknowledge we are but ashes and shall return to dust, may through a steadfast observance of Lent gain pardon for sins and newness of life after the likeness of your risen Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Together let us stand. And as we stand in the presence of our God, we are so conscious of all the needs that we have deep within our hearts. But surely we must remember the people of Ukraine, that the Lord will prevent war and that he will bring peace and that the Holy Mother of God will protect the dear people of Ukraine. And so with all our hearts, we turn to the Lord in prayer. That the church may be seen more clearly as a sign of God's mercy for us in times of both sorrow and joy, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes for healing and strength for all those who suffer in illness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the situation in Ukraine, may God, the author and lover of peace, banish violence from their midst, give comfort to the afflicted, and grant salvation to those who have died, so that all may truly deserve to be called your children, we pray. For our beloved deceased, Gregory Dillon, Frank Nabarini, <clears throat> Philip Lachance, Giuseppe Chirico, and for all whom we remember in our Paris Book of Life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of this Mass, for the eternal rest of Mars Cristiano, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your people may turn to you with all their heart, so that whatever they dare to ask in prayer, they may receive by your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please open your hymnals to number 851 and join in singing, Remember Your Love. My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleanse from our sins 
may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings, and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who was our Passover and our surest peace. We celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son. And grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop, Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you. Saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy, then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Pour out a spirit of compunction, O God, on those who bow before your majesty, and by your mercy may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Be Please open your hymnal to number 852 and join in singing Ashes. <laughs> 